Hello, hello everybody. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. So what I thought to do today was, is just to make a very quick preset and just show you how quick and easy it is to make a preset within the Fractal ecosystem using the, their software. It's really easy, so let's get straight into it. So what I personally always do is, you've got a little button here saying quick build. I'm in FM9 edit here, obviously. Um, and that brings up just all the blocks you can put within this preset. And it's just drag and drop. So what you need is, you need it in, you need it out. Obviously you need an amp block and you need a cab block. So now we need to make sure that we've got output. So what you do is you just hover your mouse over that. You'll click on that. It brings up all these little boxes here and you just click on the end and that should bring in a kind of a virtual cable. And now we should have output. We do. However, this is not the amp or the cab we want. So to get rid of this, I'll just click on this button again and that'll bring us up. Um, we in the amp block here. So let's go to the cab first because what I, what I want to make sure um, I've got is my favorite cab, which is um, just a straight up Marshall. Um, I should really use a Friedman cab for this, but my personal favorite impulse response in the fractal stuff is this Marshall 1960 cab. Um, so I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to, because we run an, an FM9 turbo here with plenty of processing power, I'm going to set this to ultra res um, and as you can see, the CPU usage here is 19.8. Let's see if it makes much difference. And it's bumped up there in 23%, basically. So not much. Like I say, we've got plenty to go um, to go out here with the, the FM9 Turbo. So let's get into the amp. So it's brought up the Friedman HB EV1, which let's go with that if it's brought it up. Sounds good. I fancy making a nice high gain preset here. So we'll do that. There's all the amplifiers you can choose from. You've got 302 amplifiers to choose from in the fractal stuff, which is quite insane. But let's stick with the, the Friedman HBE V1 here. So just eyeballing it, I'm going to bump up the gain a little bit to maybe about seven. I'm going to knock the bass back a little bit and bump up the mids, bump up the treble, bump up the presence. And because this is a high gain preset, I'm already going to preempt. It's going to be quite noisy. So I'm already going to put a gate in there. We'll stick with the downward expander because it's got the ratio. Um, let's see how noisy it is. Not noisy at all. If I bring the threshold back, you can hear the noise come in there. So I'm going to bump up the threshold just so that noise goes. That'll do. Uh, we might need to take another look at the gate when I add a drive pedal and stuff like that. But for now, that's all right. So let's see how that's sounding already. So that's sounding pretty good. Oh, and before I forget, um, the guitar I'm using is my beautiful Gibson Les Paul RO V3, 60th anniversary unboxing on my channel. If you so wish to uh, go and watch that, just saying. Beautiful top on this one. Absolutely love this guitar. And it's got custom buckers uh, from the factory, just in case you're wondering. So yeah, that's sounding great straight off the bat. So like I said, within a matter of a minute, two minutes, not even that, you've got a great, fantastic sounding, in my opinion, um, amplifier sound. So yeah, sounds great. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so um, again, this is going to be a high gain preset. So if we want to tighten that amp up a little bit and produce a little bit more gain, we can add a drive pedal. So we'll just click on drive. That will put a drive pedal in. Uh, it's give us the T808 OD, which is perfect. Um, I'm going to take the drive down to about, maybe it's just not much, just one and a half, maybe. Uh, bum up the tone to maybe six and bum up the level to maybe six and a half, just totally random numbers here and say what that sounds like. I'll turn it off then I'll kick it in 
so you can get a, an idea. <laughs> Right, that sounds brilliant to me. Um, as always, let's say, uh, let's, you know, let's give it a little bit of ambience, otherwise it just sounds too dry. Uh, reverb, and um, again, with because I'm using the FM9 Turbo, we have the luxury of great processing power. So the CPU here is running at 34%. Um, percent. So what we're gonna do is, it's on normal, the quality is on normal, so we're obviously gonna bump it up to ultra high, because why? Because we can. Um, so yeah, let's see if it makes any difference to the CPU, my guess is it's not. Let's change it to ultra high, and as you can see, it's still on 34%. I might be wrong here, but I think the FM9 Turbo and the Axe, the Axe 3 has a, a dedicated processor just for the reverbs. I might be wrong on that. I, I think I heard it somewhere. I'm not, I'm not sure where. Maybe one of you guys might know. I don't know. Anyways, so we've got now it on ultra high because again, why not? It hasn't made any difference to the CPU, so let's use it. And um, yeah, it's on medium room. Let's change that uh, to maybe a plate, a medium plate. Let's bump up the time to about two and a half seconds and take the mix down to about 15%. Yeah, it's about right. Sounds Yeah, so let's go about that gear because we're getting a little bit of noise there. So I'm going to bump the ratio to about four, or just under four. Maybe just bump up the threshold a little bit. So I want to tighten the gate there just to cut out that, uh, that ring and noise. These pickups are, because they are PAFs, they are unpotted, so they are quite microphonic. So you have to be careful what you're doing. Yeah, much better. That reverb sounds really good. So again, let's just go straight typical and add a, um, a delay pedal in there. So delay one, we'll click on this. Uh, it brings up all the different delays. Actually, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to add a, let's go mental and add a, uh, where is it at? It is the multi-tap delay because I want the Keeley Halo pedal in here. So which is the Aurora delay. It is quite a wet sounding delay for nice for leads and stuff, it sounds like this. So it is um, quite an over-the-top kind of delay, but you know that's what that's what we like, isn't it? Right. <laughs> so, um, but if you want to go straight up delay, obviously you've got that option, uh, delay, and uh, we can just stick to maybe the uh, analog stereo for a nice tape delay. It's like a nice darker sounding delay that's not as in your face. <laughs> 
Or what you can do is you can bump up the mix if you like a nice delay heavy sound to maybe 20 or even higher. But you can go down here and you've got the ducker. So you can duck that by about 3 dB. So what that means is if you're not familiar is when you're playing, it's going to duck that particular effect and um, it'll kick it back in when you stop. So. <laughs> So yeah, it just gets the delay or the particular effect out of the way while you're playing and when you stop it kicks it back in. So that's a very handy little uh, tool to have there. So yeah, that's about it and that's about how easy it is to, um, to knock up a, a quick preset on the Fractal stuff. It's really, really simple. Once There is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get to know that learning curve, it's, it's really easy. And obviously from there you can add, you know, there's plenty of effects to choose from, whatever your heart desires. Phasers, flanges, chorus pedals, compressors, tremolos, anything you want. This, uh, the Fractal stuff um, is the best. Let's, let's be honest, it is, the, it is the best in terms of quality and stuff like that. So yes, that is it for today. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.